Hello and welcome to the Mike Les Farmhand Mike YouTube channel, bringing you some of the biggest and best variety and definitely the most versatile farming content on social media today. You can find me on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at Farmhand Mike. When you're running combine and have that view over there, that's just pretty awesome. That's almost as awesome as watching that Mike Les guy on YouTube. That is one good looking tractor and grain cart. Hey everyone, I am down in the southwest corner of North Dakota with JC Farms out of Hediger as they are seeding their 2022 canola crop. In this video, you will see them seeding canola with their John Deere 9620R tractor pulling a 43 foot wide John Deere 1895 drill and a 1910 air cart. And let's not forget the anhydrous tanks they are pulling behind the cart. As you can see by the dust rolling off here, it's a little bit on the dry side, which is pretty rare for North Dakota this year because it's been very, very wet, but there has been a few dry spots and guys are getting serious in the field. So there's a lot going on here. They are seeding the canola at a rate of five pounds of seed per acre. They are also putting on fertilizer and injecting anhydrous ammonia, which is a source of nitrogen. The field that they are seeding into was corn last year, and they ran a high-speed disc over this field last fall, last October to be exact, so this field got to go through the winter here. And of course, North Dakota, you know, has had a couple blizzards in April, so they had a lot of snowfall, they had a lot of rain, a lot of wet, but anyways, things are finally drying out in some parts of the state, and guys are able to get in here and get the job done. Now, I've done some other videos with this farm. This farm does have a versatile 375 tractor that they are pulling a John Deere DB80 planter. I do have some footage of that. I actually posted a video of that last year. I was also out here last year with these guys as they were harvesting canola. So I will put the link to those videos at the end of this one and stay tuned. I do have to post a video of them planting corn this year. And if you're wondering what canola seed looks like, here's what it looks like. A very tiny seed, again, seeded at a rate of about five pounds per acre. Okay, that's enough. Uh -huh. Okay. So split pea look on the tail. Yep. Gotcha. Don't ever get it in your eyes. Okay. And if you're into the video this far, you probably noticed those rollers out in the front of the tractor. Now, that's not something we see a lot of on a lot of farm videos, but those are made by a company named Lancoda out of South Dakota, and those are called stock rollers. What these stock rollers do is they knock down any corn stalks or stubble from the previous crop in the field to protect the tires on the tractor from stubble damage. So these are hydraulically controlled, so when they can get to the field here, they can put them down in front of the tires, they run on the ground, and any corn stalks or other stubble, whatever, that rolls that stubble down, and that stubble does not come up and poke the tractor tires. Now, I've seen some tires over the years that have a lot of stubble damage, and the tread's actually halfway decent on the tractor, but it actually chews that tire up. So these are a great invention, and... Um, Maybe in this field, they don't need them so much since this field was worked before, but I know a lot of people out west run these and uh, have great results with them. A few years ago, I was out at my cousin's place in Johnson, Kansas, and I did a walk-around video of his planter tractor, and he had these on that tractor to protect the front tires, and they recently put them on their versatile 524 wheel drive tractor, too. They grow a lot of Milo corn and stuff, and these things definitely work. Yeah, and I probably should mention, um, 
I have no association with the company that builds these, and I know I'm on here bragging about them, talking about them, and so forth, but uh, it's just my observation and my opinion only. And as you can tell by the sun, these were evening shots here. The wind was blowing hard, the dust was rolling off, and you know, I got the best video I could, but you just can't quite see the drill as good as I'd like to show it in this video, but hey, this is what farming's all about, right? Nothing staged here on the Farmhand Mike channel, just the real deal. And another interesting fact, in case anybody really wants to know, I filmed this last week in North Dakota. So guys were planting canola, planting spring wheat, other crops like that. And as I am editing this video, I am sitting in a hotel room in South Texas and areas where they've already harvested wheat are just getting ready to harvest wheat. So it's just amazing, just a few states south goes from one state planting spring wheat to another one that is harvesting wheat so it's just amazing the stuff you get to see and the differences in agriculture across this country and as i said earlier in the video this very same farm was planting corn just about seven miles away from this field using their versatile 375 tractor point a 32 row john deere db80 planter with a nurse tank behind it for fertilizer that video will be coming to my channel sometime in the near future as well. And another interesting topic for no particular reason. These guys are up here planting corn. I'm down in South Texas right now this week looking at corn that is fully grown, tasseled, has an ear on it, that will probably be harvested for grain in July. I'm sure everybody here is well aware a lot of the country schools with FFA have drive your tractor to school day. How awesome would it be if a kid actually drove something like this to drive your tractor to school day? A big tractor, a drill, a cart with the anhydrous tanks behind it. Of course, it'd take up the whole parking lot, but I just think that'd be the coolest thing ever. I just don't know how all the teachers, the principal, and everybody else would just not be so impressed that they would... I'll just come out in the parking lot and just want to look at it for the day. Tell me if I'm wrong or crazy.
that's going to do it for this video. So feel free to go down there, hit that like button, and comment below. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please go down there and hit that subscribe button. Now, I did get several good videos from this trip here. Of course, I had a lot of disappointments, too, because there was so much water out here in North Dakota. I had some video opportunities lined up that never panned out because it was way too wet. And then I had a couple surprises. But anyways, I have a lot of good farming content coming to my YouTube channel here from the spring of 2022. And I will be posting those videos as time allows. Anyways, if you want to see more of what I'm doing and filming, you can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Farmhand Mike. And as always... Thank you for watching and supporting my social media.